Gaming on an old laptop is pretty easy. Well, so I thought. I went and found my old laptop from 2018 where I used to play Fortnite at 20 FPS. And it was literally almost opening itself. So I went and found my charger for it and... It was fully cooked. Blue screen after blue screen, I found out that the fan was not spinning correctly. So I just took the laptop and shaked it around until it worked. And now it actually booted up. There was still a problem. I couldn't get past the password screen. And no, it wasn't because I forgot the password. It's literally because each time I put in the password, it just turned off itself. Like randomly, it would just turn off. And I have no clue why. Ultimately, the PC just did not want to boot up. So I took my other laptop, which is a 2013 gaming laptop, but it's not that good. So let's try to optimize this. So right here, I'm showing the specs, and it's pretty decent. I think you would get a stable 60 FPS, but the goal here is 300 FPS on this laptop. So I went on the laptop, I ran some EXM for each week in utility, and then I installed Fortnite. My goal is to start a laptop to bring anywhere and get good FPS in any game or task I need to do. But before we show anything, we need to see how it performs without and with tweaks. I just want to say that the laptop CPU is decent and Fortnite is a CPU dependent game. So that's the main problem. But without tweaking the laptop, it got around 60 to 90 FPS unstable with 100% 3D res and 720p gameplay. And after doing some basic tweaks from my Discord server with over 2K members and 100 vouchers, it got a stable 80 to 140 FPS, but it's still st stuttering every second. That's still not what we're looking for. I mean, when I bought this laptop, I, I spent $200 thinking I was going to play 4K games with good FPS, but I was wrong. I mean, at least it got better FPS than that old gray laptop. It literally got 20 FPS on 2% 3D res on Fortnite. But keep in mind, when recording, the FPS is two times worse. But sometimes if you tweak too much, you will actually get less FPS. In this case, I've reset this laptop twice already because I tweaked it too much. So I'm stopping here with only these simple tweaks because I believe that it will only go down from here. But I just want to show you how to download these tweaks if you want to download them. Just go to my Discord, then you have to verify up here. Just click to verify. And then for potato graphics, you take a screenshot of you being subscribed and then you send it in here. And then I go and add a role to you. Then you have access to this, where there's two potato graphics for AMD and Intel. If you want the normal potato graphics, you just go up here and download them here. Everything is also right here. And I also have vouchers right here. A lot of vouchers. You can check them yourself. But the tweaks used for this laptop video were actually these two. And this folder pack right here. But if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more, make sure to like and subscribe.